Today was a big day as Volkswagen announced the next generation vehicle to be built here in Chattanooga. Volkswagen's new five seat SUV will be named the Atlas. We have team coverage on the announcement. Channel 3's Cameron Taylor kicks it off. Cameron. This will be the third vehicle that the Chattanooga plant will manufacture. As you know, they already make the Passat and the seven-seater Atlas SUV here in Chattanooga. Now, this five-seater SUV, we were able to get a look at it with this sketch. It's going to be a smaller version of the Atlas SUV. Now, it's unclear how much it'll cost or when we might see one on the road, but we do know that they'll start production at the end of next year. Mayor Jim Coventer says it's a good day for the county. We were really excited about the Passat, and then we were excited about the expansion with the Atlas, and now with this announcement today, even brings on additional excitement because, you know, again, Volkswagen is a large corporation, and uh, as far as the United States and the manufacturing, we are the place. VW has said that they plan on building 16 new electric vehicle plants in Europe, China, and North America. Now, we asked Mayor Jim Covinger if he thinks Chattanooga would also be a candidate for that. He said he's hopeful. Live at Volkswagen, Cameron Taylor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The last time Volkswagen announced the production of a new vehicle, it was the 2017 Atlas. 2,000 jobs were added to build that seven-seat SUV. But Channel 3's Kate Smith tells us jobs will not be added this time around. As they announced today, they are adding a five-seat SUV that will also be named the Atlas there at Volkswagen. Kate, tell us why no new jobs. Well, Greg, a spokesperson for Volkswagen says they have enough crews inside of this plant right now to produce the new five-seat Atlas. They wouldn't go into much detail, but tell us that the new SUV and the original seven-seat Atlas have common machinery used in production. Local elected officials say even though no new jobs will be created at Volkswagen, outside work will benefit the Chattanooga community. They'll build it on the same base that they're building the existing SUV. But again, when you invest $340 million more, there's going to be a lot of reciprocal benefits from that in construction equipment and as well as jobs here. Like Cameron said, we did see a preview of that sketch, and the official release will be next week at the New York International Auto Show. That's when we're going to see uh, the price. We're going to learn about the gas mileage and some more features. But for now, I'm live at Volkswagen. Kate Smith, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.